Liverpool on Merseyside has grown through the centuries into one of the greatest seaports of the world. Factories and warehouses, towering buildings and blocks of offices throb with the vast commerce of the sea, and the daily lives of countless workers are governed by the intricate details connected with commerce and shipping. Here in this great city, world-famous organizations direct the ceaseless flow of import and export trade, the never-failing blood of our island home. Great houses of traditional and historic interest and of world-famed reputation control the greatest maritime industry of all time, our merchant service. Their office windows look down on the wide estuary of the Mersey and everywhere is the salty tang of the sea and the clamour and bustle of ocean-going traffic. In the early hours of the morning, those who work on the ships and in the dockyards begin to pour into Merseyside from the outlying districts. They are followed by the office workers and those with business in the city who come from across the river from the large residential area of Cheshire, known locally as the Wirral. They come by ferries, the famous Wallasey Ferries, one of the largest undertakings of its kind in the world, which maintains its service night and day and is never stopped, even by the dense fogs which blot out the great estuary so often in winter time. As we approach across the water, the docks become clearer in the smoke and haze, and we get an impressive picture of the huge area they cover. To reach any part of them, we must change onto the Liverpool Overhead Railway, another world-famous feature of Merseyside, which links up the 70 docks and 28 miles of yards and warehouses. We have followed the dockers down to the scene of their work, the ships themselves brought alongside to discharge their precious cargoes. The more urgent and valuable goods are hoisted from the holds and dropped direct onto the waiting rail trucks. while others are temporarily stored in the waterside goods yards until transport is available to carry them to neighbouring warehouses or the great marshalling yards. Out, the endless flood of crates and packages passes from ship to shore, foodstuffs essential to our needs. Some of the cargoes are transshipped to barges and embark on a voyage of a different kind down the pleasant waterways of England, such as the Bridgewater Canal, which connects the great seaport with our industrial centres. Like many great things, the Mersey has a humble origin, in fact several origins, and away up into the wild hills of Derbyshire we must go to search for the beginning of one of them, the River Goit. 1,600 feet up we find this insignificant trickle dribbling down over the peaty moorland ravine, alone and unheeded, its waters ice cold even in spring. As it flows down from the desolate heights, it grows in size and strength until at Stockport 
It can no longer be crossed contemptuously in a single stride, and man must build in obedience to its winding course. And here, the Goit receives a reinforcement, the river Tain, and from then on, as the Mersey, they sweep triumphantly together through the city. In the centre of Stockport, it is lost to view under Mersey Way, an engineering achievement which provides a valuable roadway for traffic passing through the city 30 feet above the water. Under Mersey Square, it reappears and quietly leaves the town under a network of bridges and viaducts. Further on, the Mersey flows towards the Manchester Ship Canal and eventually merges into it. By now it assumes an imposing aspect and an indication of its greatness to come is easier to visualise. For some distance, the waters of canal and river blend to form a waterway along which oil tankers of this size can pass direct to Manchester, there to deliver their valuable load. But Britain must deliver the goods overseas and into Liverpool pours a steady stream of home-produced articles to meet the constant demand of buyers abroad. They come from all parts of the country. To cross the Mersey from the south, the road traffic may use the Great Mersey Tunnel, which relieves the congestion on the Wallasey cargo ferries. Day and night, these sturdy little vessels shuttle to and fro across the estuary from the Cheshire coast to Liverpool, their broad decks crammed with road transport. Down to the waterside they come to be loaded into the holds of the waiting ships. Merseyside prepares to say bon voyage to a departing vessel. Steam is up and soon amidst the magical last minute hubbub of shouts and creaking ropes, hooting tugs and churning water, she will glide into the estuary and out to the sea, down past the incoming traffic, her screws threshing the waters of the Mersey. And the Mersey salutes her and awaits her safe return. Mm -hmm. 